For more on this, we're going to have our political panel weigh in. Joining us now, Kevin Walling. He's the vice president at Hamburger Gibson Creative and Alexandra Smith the executive director of America Rising. Thank you both. Hey, Ebony, great to be with Thanks you. Thanks so much for okay, having us. Okay, so I'm going to lay out uh, a starting point here and then have you both weigh in. So, it seems that there are two very clear competing narratives as it relates to McCabe's firing, right? On one hand, many are saying that this is political, strictly, that this is the president uh, pushing an agenda to discredit the whole FBI and all of those organizations. Uh, it's a bit of a Comey grudge, uh, fill in the blanks. The other side, that McCabe was fired for reason, that the FBI's own Office of Professional Responsibility and the Inspector General's report said that he basically lied under oath, he was a leak, and various other reasons that call for his firing. Alex, I'll start with you. Can two things be true at the same time? Can it be true that the president uh, has a vested interest in seeing uh, McCabe and the Mueller investigation be discredited on the front end? And can it also be true that McCabe did something absolutely wrong here and deserved to be terminated? Well, as a general proposition, I would say that that's true. But I think in this instance, we're still waiting to see um, the inspector general's report to see exactly why McCabe was fired. As you mentioned, it was recommended by several veteran um, career uh, employees of the FBI that he be fired. Um, so we're still waiting on the details of that report. Alex, um, do you want to see that report? Uh, would you be uh, in favor of that being released publicly? I know one Democrat on the House has already called for an open hearing so that we can get more details. Uh, are you in favor of that. Absolutely. I mean, I think that the, the biggest, uh, the key to this um, entire investigation, and indeed any investigation that's undertaken by one of the largest, most respected agencies in our country, is transparency. Um, and I think that that's something that, uh, you know, Republicans in Congress and the White House have actually shown a great willingness to engage in, uh, whether it's Republican leaders on the House and Senate committees permitting, uh, you know, Democrats to ask questions um, or the release of the two memos that we've seen. Sure. I think that this has been at, at play here. Well, we'll see if we get that open hearing indeed. Kevin, let's go to you. Do, do you sure. think the Democrats are doing themselves a disservice here by kind of not waiting on, on the full report from the IG's office or any of these other details around exactly why McCabe was firing and really jumping to a conclusion, some of them, that this is all a political stunt, that this is all just the president uh, working to, uh, you know, kind of undermine the credibility sure. of Mueller? Well, I think the, the jumping to conclusions is on the part of the president tweeting out last night, uh, even before uh, Deputy Director McCabe was notified that he had been uh, fired from his position. I think we have more questions than answers. I think uh, Alex and I are in agreement uh, that we should have open hearings, that we should release the OIG report so that that transparency and those answers are out there in the public, and so that the House and Senate Judiciary Committee should weigh in on whether these firings, whether it be Jim Comey or Andy McCabe, uh, are political in nature by this White House. Sure. Speaking of the pol political in nature part, I know you're both about to be shocked and amazed at what I'm about to say. The president is tweeting about this right now. So I'm going to come to you on this, Alex, so, so both of you pay, uh, pay close attention here. President Trump's verified account says, the fake news is beside themselves that McCabe was caught, called out, and fired. How many hundreds of thousands of dollars were given to wife's campaign by crooked H, Hillary's friend? Uh, Terry M., who was also under investigation. How many lies? How many leaks? Comey knew it all and much more. Alex, when the president tweets this type of pretty much celebration around McCabe's firing and, and going further and further on the attack of the credibility of those individuals, does he fuel a narrative that says this is political when instead he could just let the facts speak for themselves if indeed McCabe was a bad actor, let his firing stand alone? Well, look, as you mentioned, Emily, it is true, even in Washington, for two things to be true at the same time. And I think that it's true in this case that there are incredibly hardworking people, men and women of the FBI, who put their lives on the line to defend us every day, while at the same time acknowledging that there were some mistakes and some missteps that came out of the, the Hillary Clinton investigation in 2016 that are troubling, that should be troubling right, to but, any American. But connecting American. them together, right? Hillary's bad actions, possibly, uh, and, and that the, of McCabe, which he's relying upon to fire him, is, is that helpful? Well, look, I think it's important to note the president himself did not fire McCabe. It was it was Attorney General Jeff Sessions um, who did. And I think that we still have to wait for the report to come out. As I understand it, lack of candor is a very serious charge within the FBI. Sounds a lot um, like and, lying. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if, if that's what occurred there, um, you know, that's really troubling. And I think that, you know, uh, Attorney General Jeff Sessions had every reason to fire him, if that's sure. true. Jeff Sessions fired him. We do know that the president called for that firing long ago, uh, Alex and Kevin, I'm going to have to leave it right there. Thank you both. Thanks, Ebony. Thank Thanks you. so much for having us. Uh -huh.